Hi all, in this uh, series of lectures I am going to talk about um, analysing data that uh, when you want to test for associations. So this is related to lecture 9 and chapter 15 of your textbook and in this lecture I'm going to talk about a number of different tests where we are looking for whether two variables or a series of variables are related to each other. So in terms of the tests that I'm going to to show you, I'll make a different video for each of these. The first one, the first video I'll make is around describing relationships where I will show you how to do a chi-square, the scatter diagram and correlation analysis and then I'm going to do each of these will be in a separate video in terms of predict making predictions but in terms of the relationships between variables uh, so this will be a bivariate regression where we have one x and one y we'll do multiple regression where there are multiple independent variables or x's and one y I will then show you how to do a discriminant analysis and I'll talk brief briefly about what a conjoint analysis is however I'm not going to show um, demonstrate a conjoint analysis because conjoint analysis requires a specific type of data collection which we haven't done in any of our projects so it's less relevant in this case so in terms of the learning outcomes we need to as part of these testing of relationships we need to determine the reliability and validity of our tests and our data and we also use these tests to integrate types of different data and different variables towards creating evidence towards finding solutions to our marketing problems. So testing for associations. So a relationship is a consistent and systematic link between two or more variables. So when we in terms of our first one where we are describing relationships we are dealing with um, variables that are not necessarily causative in their relationships so x or and the independent variable is not causing the y but they might be correlated to each other in some way in the fact that they co-occur so the hypothesis in this case is that the null hypothesis is that there is no relationship between two variables and the alternative hypothesis is that there is a relationship between two variables. So in terms of describing relationships or describing associations we have three main criteria. We have the direction of the association whether it's positive or negative. So in the diagram on the right hand side here a positive relationship is that shown on this top left hand diagram where A positively relates to B as it goes up the X and Y axes. A negative relationship is shown in this B quadrant here on the top right hand side where it slopes downwards um, on the X and Y axis. So the strength of the association, whether it's non-existent, weak, moderate or strong. So this relates to how dispersed these dots are or what we call our, um, our measure, not our measures, what are they called? I just is calling, going to call them our data points. There is a term that it's, it is uh, slipping my mind at the moment. So when we have narrowly dispersed dots around the distribution, we say that the strength of the association is very strong. However, if you see over here where they are just randomly distributed around no particular line, we say that there is no association there. And finally, we have the type of association. Is it linear or curvilinear? So this is the straightness versus curviness of our uh, dot of lines or line of dots. So as you can see in A, B and C we have, um, or A and B we have linear relationships, in C we have a curvy linear relationship. These are important uh, in terms of 
prediction in the fact that the prediction variable or the, the prediction measures or the prediction tests I will show you assume that the relationship is linear so in terms of running a regression and the discriminant analysis is assuming that the associations are linear between A and B or X and Y as opposed to this curvy linear uh, output we have in in this in this bottom left hand quadrant the regression analysis cannot predict the associations in this case there are different sets of analysis and transformations of the data that are required in order for a prediction model to be applied so in terms of describing relationship the next video I'm going to make is going to talk about the following um, the first two of these and then I'll do a separate video on the the correlation analysis, which are the Pearson product moment and the Spearman rank order. So the next video will deal with chi-square statistic and the scatter diagram as displays of association.